so the earth is a cradle of humanity but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever the universe is under no obligation to make sense to us and with this thinking on the behalf of bmsis blue psychon i would like to welcome you all so you are looking at ms upasal monthly presentation currently i am pursuing my final year biotechnology and this summer i am working under the mentorship of dr demetri atri so let's quickly move to the next slide okay so this projects give a concise introduction to the space shuttle meant oris which is the off earth residential environment system in lunar reconnaissance orbital that is 30 into 216 km quasi frozen polar orbit it expresses the essential design features and crucial subsystem requirement in the initialization of the settlement in the proposed settlement designed to enhance various activities like mining production industries research development the space infrastructures for initially can be accommodating 4000 residents to emphasis on the structure and parameter of the infrastructure as seen in the figure consists of main body with the middle part house the master control of oris it has two uh, two wing type of structure that are attached to the torus ship modified cylindrical structure there are eight such torus that are attached to four uh, that are four to each of the wing respectively the torus where the resident will uh, like the resident uh, will the people will stay over there and prosper the other reason are used for various other purposes whereas the subsystem will be uh, where other subsystem will be included initially the solar panels are attached to the top of the torus so moving to the next slide there's other ways uh, external transport that we can be you, it can be used in the space shuttlement coming first to the space bus this vehicle main purpose is to carry large number of people to new settlement or carry them from one torus to another the next will be coming to the goods carrier this ship is used to carry solid and liquid goods in the container uh, as you can see there are few containers at the back of this ship this can be uh, used for the solid and liquid con uh, liquid content for different uh, from different one place to another coming to the maintenance ship which is a multi purpose thing of for obviously it is mainly used to repair on the outer surface of the earth it also used for short distance travel and the asteroid carrier carrier so as mentioned in the need the vehicle is designed such that it carries heavy asteroid to the earth and asteroid serve as a resources for various material this asteroid is held in place by putting its load on a suspension and the asteroid is anchored to the ship So what are the challenges that can be faced? Like the expected challenges if you are placing it. The value, uh, as we know, the gravity, solar, solar energy. Now uh, I hope I am clear. Am I? Yeah, we we can still hear hear and see you. Oh, uh, thank you. So uh, about the gravity, solar energy approaching the surface, growth potential, and economics. The value of G and uh, on Moon and Mars are very less as far as the physical aspect is concerned, but. Very high in comparison to the inter orbital motion coming to the solar energy solar energy is considered to be the first choice for the power production in the orbit if uh, in the uh, in an orbit containers ample reliable and free of solar energy that can be obtained in comparison to the surface of the mars and the moon approaching the surface is more expensive if you are going for a planetary subsystem the transport cost to get to the moon is about twice as high to go into a free uh, into a free space the growth potential the stay, uh, the settlement on the surface will easily get materials on the other hand in the orbital settlement we can easily get materials from neos which are more in in variety as compared to the surface of moon and mars economically uh, early settlement can be expected to orbit in the orbital settlement is uh, uh, orbit to the earth later settlement can be spread out across solar system taking advantage of the water in the jupiter's moon or exploiting the materials of the asteroid belt so what can be the suggestive location for the settlement uh, this can be langrage point asteroid belt leo uh, moon orbit around the earth lro orbit and beyond the grave so there are various location that can be suitable for setting up this habitation and the habitability there are many other location where settlement can be set up uh first coming to the language points uh, there are all total five language points these these are the these these are the points where the gravitational attraction and repulsion force balance out each other hence if the object is placed here it remains relatively stable 
the leo the low earth orbit it is the earth orbit <coughs> sorry close to us compared to the other orbital whereas in the lro orbit this is the orbit of the moon around the lro orbiting moon <coughs> You're still muted. Uh, there you go. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I just got cough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So for the next, um, okay. So what are the various subsystems? These are the external transportation system, life support system, environmental control system, power, a uh, power and energy generation, oil coin and recreation and assistant. protection and selden system due to the shortage of time we won't be exactly going to the all the subsystem but we'll be mainly focusing on the life support system so what is exactly the life support system the richness of the life and survival from unforeseen catastrophe are enhanced by di diversification and reductance of the food supplies energy sources system for the environmental control respiration is the most important thing to be maintained in the space settlement as there is no atmosphere in space it is very difficult to breathe so the partial pressure of oxygen must always be kept constant or in between the certain limits because low oxygen pressure is associated with altitude sickness on the other hand carbon dioxide must also be continuously removed from the atmosphere since when inhaled a great quantity of it may cause fainting increased heart rate respiration and many other health issues what exactly can be done in the uh, life support system as we all aware of this hydroponics technique the hydroponics is a subset of the hydroculture and is a method of growing plants using mineral and nutrient solution in water without the soil and this this usually takes up less weight and make our species with a bit lesser weight if you are using the soil instead terrestrial plant may be grown with their roots in the mineral nutrient solution only or in a inert medium so no soil is needed for the hydroponics and this experiment concluded on the international space station by the astronaut and artificial stimulation of plants for the sake of the self life coming to the next oxygen in the case of iss the hydrogen generated from the electrolysis process is fed back into the space station's sabbatic system the catalyst is used to combine the waste a hydrogen with the waste carbon dioxide exhaled by the astronaut at high temperature to create water and methane and this process is a exothermic process the water produces then fed back to the water reclamation system while the methane is vented into the space in all this process it uh, it and it is has been uh, approximately found to 2 kg of oxygen per day and according to the nasa research the average person needs around 0.84 kg of oxygen per day to survive so the next will be the mo group so this concept is kind of unique to the space settlement as uh, we uh, are not really thinking about this in a really short period of time but in case we do think about it what will exactly happen to the dead bodies over there if something happens so priorly the body is then expo uh, was uh, exposed to freeze a robotic arm then takes the corpse and drive it, vibrate it outside in space uh, like uh, outside the space uh, craft while the body breaks into the powder form and it pours into the space which can be exactly replaced by this mogram concept of having an egg shaped body which has been designed by anna sitlali and rolly blessius that offers an alternate to the traditional burying method the body of this uh, the body of the dead, the dead bodies can be actually can be kept placed in a fertile position inside the container and made from the biodegradable material before the pod is buried in so this capsule monday is a culture and broad based project which invention is is a different approach and the way we think about the death maybe uh, in this way we can actually keep the as we know our body is ha having a high content of ammonia we can exactly keep this ammonia content with the uh, hydroponics concept so we can actually give the minerals after using this so Uh, basically, as all the subsystems are correlated to each other, we can go with this thing. So, coming to the other subsystem over here, we as I, it will be just a um, reference for like it's just a brief introduction for all this uh, other thing, which is known as power and uh, energy generation. We can plant some solar solar cell 
in the top of this torus so that it can get the solar energy and give the power and energy to the sub shuttle mat coming to the environmental control it controls the environment uh, water ice on the moon surface and the way it works for the uh, shuttle uh, and the recreation and medical assisted what exactly can be done is like uh, for the place where people will be habiting inside the shuttle we can actually replace it with some capsulated uh, capsulated uh, type of room so that it will it won't take much of the space and more people can be accommodated into it in the same way the auditorium the swimming pool it can really keep the park over there and the protection and shielding system it will be there for all the space debris and other other storms that that come uh, that come for this uh, come for the space settlement we can really protect it with some other features which has been implemented on this apart from this there has been another uh, coin this is known as oris coin this is a cryptocurrency which will be working under the space settlement which is based on the platform in the sole medium of the exchange of oris this transaction related to the transport medical recreation and any other services the habitat will be uh, habitants wish to avail the cryptocurrency is a medium of exchange like any other currency but designed for the purpose of exchanging digital information so this will be the conclusion the future scope uh, which will be uh, the future settlement subsystem artificial intelligence may be in fact as we are expecting the artificial ai to take over the world in few decades uh beyond the solar system maybe beyond the solar system we can take up the space settlement we don't really know about this and further thorough research and development will bring out the actual settlement in the near future so this is the website link uh, in which the total whole record has been there the whole report has been posted if anyone wants to do that i can drop it down in the chat box and that thank you for being there for this presentation Great job, Upasana. Um, Thank you. Stop sharing your screen. That'll make it easier for your video then so we can see you. Definitely. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and feel free to drop that link in the chat then. Uh, we have a couple of minutes for questions. I want to ask one first. Some people okay. have discussed that sending humans to Mars and beyond isn't going to require just the technology for our ships and, and these things, but also for ourselves. What do you think of the idea of genetically engineering humans to better survive in space and not actually need as much extra technology. Okay, so I would like to say that uh, maybe genetically human, we can uh, create this robot human, the, this robot will be obviously handled by humans. So what if we will get something over there? Like uh, it has been sent some pets over there, some dogs has been sent, I do know about this, but I do consider if some human is going over there, they will be analyzing things more than because the, the robot will only be having the idea that we will be feeding to them. They won't be getting if something new come up, some new organism, some new fossils come up there, they won't be recognized or detected. Maybe humans can get it more than this. I, 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 if I get the question correct. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Sanjoy, I see your hand up as well. Yes, Supasana, thank you for your presentation. There's just a lot to think about, uh, you know, in planetary settlement. Um, I, I, you maybe have uh, mentioned this, but I missed it. Who proposed the ORES project? It's not proposed by anyone. It's just a uh, space settlement. Like we, uh, we are a group of people who actually made this thing. And we are trying to take this forward. We already published this report, actually. And I thought of uh, like reporting it over here and share this idea. So it can actually, uh, how a space, uh, space settlement actually uh, learn. Like it actually had this different subsystem and all. 